Hi everyone, this review is going to be on the Halo Beauty QVC booster over three months. Welcome, my name is Shayla and my hope is to inspire and encourage you while on your journey to loving imperfect skin. So you'll find a lot of skincare, makeup, reviews, tips, and encouragement on this channel. With that, let's just get started into the review. First, I want to talk about the packaging and then the ingredients and then I will share about the results with the product. I know, save the best for last, right? <laughs> I really love the packaging of this product. This is empty, of course. They have revamped their packaging. It's different now, and I'll share a picture of what they look like now. But I would say you're probably going to get really good quality packaging. I think the cap is very sturdy, and so is the bottle. I found that whenever I take this pill, it's just really luxurious and it just feels really nice to hold in my hand. So that's something that I really enjoyed about the experience because really the packaging does affect the experience. If it's this sort of like cheap plastic material, it just doesn't feel as fun, but this made it feel a lot nicer. Taking a look at the ingredients, if you actually go on the Halo Beauty website, they're very transparent about what the ingredients are and what they do. And I think that the way that they show it on their website is beautiful. They show the vitamin or the ingredient and then they show a nice little picture and then they explain in a little bit what it does. I will put a link down of the website of where I'm getting all these ingredients, but you can definitely take a look on there. It is a lot more comprehensive if you go see it on your own rather than me just like trying my best to explain these words to y'all because I am not a professional. In my experience as a consumer, as someone who has bought the product, taking a look at their ingredients, I think they do a really wonderful job explaining what is in it, what the ingredient does, and you can also just research on your own what does vitamin B1 do. Yeah, just from my opinion, I'm not seeing anything that's making me feel uncomfortable or like a red flag. Like if I see a lot of salt or something in... A supplement I would start to question like why is there so much sodium in this supplement right so there's nothing like that that I realize or notice at all in this the pill itself I do have a few pills left over from my last month that I was using it it's just this green shape here it's this size so about like the size of your pinky it actually measures up to my pinky line perfectly. For the kiwi seed booster, it's just one vitamin a day, but for the hair, skin, and nails, the pink one, it's two. And this is how big it is in comparison. It's definitely a lot bigger because you're taking two versus one a day, but they're both a month's worth. You're getting 60 capsules in the hair, skin, and nails and getting 30 capsules in the kiwi seed booster. For the first month, I saw some pretty significant results in less inflammation and also less acne. The second month, however, I did start to see that it was just sort of plateauing. I didn't really see that big of a difference in my skin. And then the third month, I would say that my skin looked pretty much the same. I did have hormonal breakouts and that's pretty normal for me. If you're somebody who has mild acne, then I definitely see this being beneficial for you. But if you're somebody who has hormonal acne and inflammation, someone who has moderate acne, like acne um, in clusters and your acne scars, then I don't think that this would be a great purchase. I would say like an equivalent of a sort of supplement like this would be sort of like drinking green tea every single day or um, eating vegetables and fruits every day. Not everybody's acne will clear up just because of what you eat. Some people have hormonal acne or cystic acne and our acne is more stubborn. It takes more than just supplements and what you drink to really heal or to get rid of that acne. When I compared the Halo Beauty supplements to something like Accutane, because I was on Accutane twice, Accutane really does clear your skin. Um, for myself, in my experience, Accutane really did clear my skin. Like you see very, very obvious results. But when it comes to Halo Beauty, sometimes the results kind of, they fluctuate some weeks are good and then some weeks I'm breaking out so I just don't think the results are very consistent at least in my experience with the Halo Beauty supplements but when it came to Accutane month by month my skin 
was clearing up more and more. Accutane, I, I'm not advocating for Accutane, but that's just my experience with it. Whenever you're considering any sort of prescribed medication, you definitely should get a professional opinion. Overall, I would say that it is a great supplement, but I don't think it's going to be a miracle worker. You're going to have to incorporate a lot of other things to achieve clear skin, and everybody's skin is different. And yes, I know my skin looks clear right now. I'm wearing makeup, and also I'm actually not even using the Halo Beauty pills. In conclusion, I would say the Kiwi Seed Booster is good for somebody with mild acne or you're looking for something to supplement your skincare routine already right now. I don't think that it's going to completely cure your acne on its own. Please let me know if you have any questions about the supplements in the comments down below. If this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button to let me know. As always, stay beautiful and God bless. I just wanna be happy.